what's up everyone my name is Foximity and I want to talk about the season 4 DLC a lot of stuff has been leaked this week like the names of the operators and their potential skills and the name of the new DLC the operation is called and has been officially Announced already. Operation Red Crow. Let me start off with the new operators. The defending operator is called Echo. And the attacking operator. Probably the most important one. The most meta changing operator. Of the two. She's called Hibana. Let's talk about Hibana first because she looks like the most interesting of the two. Let's take a look at her gun. As you can see in the logo. You can see that cylinder bears place for five chargers or canisters in this case. Because as you look at her gun, she could probably use her special only two times since there are only two canisters on the gun which would be logical because termite has two chargers as well and the rumors are that she can she can breach reinforced walls just like termite the translation of Hibana is spark her Chicago Wind 88 points to the use of an acetylene torch that uses the gas acetylene ignited by a spark to cut away at things. This would mean she'd have to cut things manually with her gadget. Let's see how she could change the game as it is. As long as we don't know how big her holes... Haha. <laughs> holes how big our holes can potentially be we can't be 100% sure if she can be the extra termite on the team but she'll probably be a, an important pick like termite like a 100% pick on your attacking team if she can make holes the size of false holes she'll be really important and also for hatches, I mean, now you can blow up an extra pair of hatches or walls. Which will give a great advantage to the attackers. Let's talk about Echo for a bit. We don't know as much about him as we do about Hibana, but obviously he has a drone as a gadget. A flying drone. I expect him to mess with the sound of your opponents or anyone near the drone's proximity which could kind of come in handy assuming sound cues are very important in this game but not as game changing as Hibana is but I guess we'll hear about him soon enough by the way, I think they'll both be tree speed operators because they don't look like they're heavy operators at least. And the gear they're wearing simply doesn't look heavy enough to be a two speed operator either, I think. But either tree or two speed. Last but not least, let's check out the map the new map this has already been leaked like a week ago or something so you've probably already seen it it looks very destructible the artwork is amazing by the way and looks like a great map to utilize the new two Japanese operators thanks for watching and see you in Japan I'm not going to
厳しそうだな。多分投げ方としては多分こっちだな。食力をちゃんと取ってあげて、食力から投げるのが一番かな。ここは多分空いている想定なのでおそらくこのクロスフォア裏に丸ぐれ投げるっていうのは結構むずいと思います、えー、と同じ意味でこの角も結構厳しいかなとただまあ上バレたら別にクロスフォア裏もこの角もそんなに脅威じゃなくなるので一旦、えー、ここを割ってやってテレミットで破壊してもらって侵入っていうのが一番綺麗かなと割った後はここに即,即対,対するお願いなきゃと思いますよいしょでだなまあ、取れてからなんですがこっから飛び出してくる敵が結構いそうなのでこれ注意これぐらいかなおこれさ、うん、天気ブリッジングハンマーできなくなってる。